Hello everyone and welcome to another Let's Talk Music blog. I'm your metal mama, Lisa Owens, and this will be episode number two of our music reviews blog. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the Almond Brothers. The Almond Brothers band was a true southern rock experience. Live or recorded, they were unmistakably what southern rock was supposed to sound like. Founded in 1969 by Dwayne and Greg Almond, the band would unknowingly create happy listeners for decades. Sadly, Dwayne's time with the band would be short-lived due to his tragic death. The band suffered the loss of Dwayne Almond in a motorcycle accident in 1971, and the question then was, will the band continue on? That would be a good question that would come up throughout the years for the band. Like most bands, they had their issues. Drugs, egos, and just basic financial woes that go along with having a band. With Dwayne gone, the Allman Brothers were down to the founding member, Greg. Could the band continue on and achieve the greatness even though Dwayne was gone? The different style of the Allman Brothers' music made it hard for them to get radio play. But in 1973, Richard Dickey Betts sang the lead single for the band's fourth studio album, Brothers and Sisters. That song, Ramblin' Man, was the hit for the radio. That got the ball rolling. Ramblin' Man would chart that same year, number two on the Billboard Hot 100. The band had a blues, jazzy, country rock swing, and the radio stations didn't have a specific category to put them in. The Southern Rock would prove to be a withstanding phenomenon overcoming social divisions, war, and economic hardships. People still wanted to get out and listen to the music. I encourage you to check the music catalog out for the Almond Brothers and also the solo albums of Greg Almond and Richard Dickey Betts. The band had a very lengthy run all together, performing from, two, from 1969 to 2014. I myself have several songs that I love listening to from them. Soul Shine, Midnight Rider, Whipping Post, Stormy Monday, just to name a few. I am thankful that the band continued on after the sad loss of Dwayne, and I think he would be proud of his, that his band achieved greatness and decades of support from the fans. And I want to thank you all for dropping in today. I'm your metal mama, Lisa Owens, and rock on.